Explaining Catalyst by the Center for Environmentally Beneficial Catalysis. Say you go to your local mall to shop for a new pair of jeans. There are tons of choices, different colors and styles, like loose fit, bell bottom, stone washed, distressed. Finally, you settle on the perfect pair of vintage straight leg jeans. You're not alone. Americans spend over $38 million a day on denim jeans. However, it wasn't always this easy to buy already worn in and faded out jeans. People used to have to wash their jeans 20 or 30 times to soften and lighten them up. The billion dollar blue jean industry has found a way to solve this problem with Catalyst. That's right, chemistry to the rescue. Catalyst speed up chemical reactions like those needed to make indigo dye, which makes blue jeans, well, blue. Certain types of biological catalysts called enzymes also speed up the wearing out process, helping fade and damage denim fibers. So what are catalysts anyway? Let's say we want to join these two chemicals together to make this desired product. Without the help of a catalyst, the chemical reaction may be slow, require lots of heat, or starting materials to drive the reaction, which wastes money and energy, and the reaction might also create unwanted byproducts that pollute the environment and cost money for disposal. Catalysts eliminate these problems. Here's how the same reaction works with a well-designed catalyst. The reaction is faster because the catalyst brings the chemicals together into the correct position to interact with each other. The catalyst is unchanged in the reaction and can be used over and over again, so a little catalyst goes a long way. Catalytic reactions are much more efficient and less wasteful. Let's recap the three most important points. Catalysts speed up chemical reactions, they can be used over and over again, and they help reduce pollution and protect the environment. Oh, I forgot to mention that catalysts help chemical companies be more efficient and make less expensive products. Catalysis, or the process of using catalyst, is important for both your life and lifestyle. At this very moment, every inch of your body is using enzyme catalysts to keep you alive. Catalysts are also essential for making most of the products that you use every day, like paints, toys, bread, wine, food flavorings, plastics, drugs, camping gear, athletic wear, detergents, fuels, and cosmetics. Well, you get the idea. Because catalysts are so important, chemists, biochemists, and engineers from across the globe, like those at the Center for Environmentally Beneficial Catalysis, are working to create new catalysts to help solve today's technological challenges. I'm Claudia Bodie, the Education Coordinator at the CEBC. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website for more information.